it happened again. Oh, it happened again. So I'm, I'm scrolling through TikTok, right? And I see some reporter uh, talking to a Christian and talking about the separation between church and state. And the reporter says, well, what about the Constitution? The Constitution says there should be a separation of church and state. This is what the reporter says, to which the Christian starts tripping over their words. So let me just help you, all right? Let me just help you. The reporter is wrong, okay? And anybody who says that is wrong. There is no phrase in the Constitution or any of the amendments or any of our government uh, official documents. The, the phrase does not exist, the separation between church and state. It doesn't exist. It's not there. Anybody who says it's there is, is wrong. The only place the phrase the separation between church and state exists is in, a, is in a correspondence, is in a letter from Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson wrote a letter to the Danbury Baptist Association in 1802. And in that letter, he, ta- he was trying to reassure them, trying to reassure them that the First Amendment was enough to protect religion. It was enough to protect religion, that religion should be private and that the government shouldn't interfere. That's what they were talking about. So what does the Constitution actually say? Well, they're talking about the First Amendment, right? And they're saying that the federal government cannot institute a national religion because that's what Europe was doing at the time. And so they were saying, that's not going to happen here in America. Americans are free to follow whatever faith they choose, okay? And so the truth is, the phrase separation between church and state. The truth is, it's the most widely misused, most widely uh, confusing statement that's in circulation. Separation of church and state was to keep the government out of church, not the other way around.